So, I have a confession to make. But it's a confession of love. It's not a confession of personal affairs, even though it may be considered personal. So, what I made this video about, in reality, is something very near and dear to my heart. Ranch. Now, you may be wondering to yourself, what? Why? Why do you like ranch? Are you fucking stupid? No, I'm not. And if you think I am because of my love for ranch, I think you might have to consider some of your life choices. Now, have you ever been sitting down with a chicken sandwich and you're like, man, this is pretty dry. I wonder where we could solve that problem. Ranch. Ranch could solve that problem. Now, one of the best qualities of ranch is that it can be applied to anything. You could apply it to your burger, you could apply it to your salad, you could apply it to french fries, which, in all honesty, is phenomenal. You could complement it with some ketchup, add some ketchup and ranch, it could either be called cranch or ratchup. It'll create a wonderful aroma in your house. Whenever you crack open that bottle of ranch and just smell its aroma flow throughout the room. Another great part of ranch is the fact that it is not limited to any one item in particular. As I said before, it could be applied to anything. But I mean really anything. Hidden Valley is possibly one of the best kinds of ranch. Probably second tier to my favorite kind of ranch, which would be a yogurt kind of ranch. It's thinner, it's lighter, and it's just overall better than the normal, heavier ranch. And please don't get me started on that sham that is Diet Ranch. Diet Ranch is disgusting. I literally cannot get over how terrible ranch is whenever it is Diet Ranch. Now, there are some things that aren't as good as ranch, but come close second. Ketchup is not one of them. Ketchup is mildly disgusting. It is way too sweet, unlike ranch, which has a nice thin line between savory and spectacular. It is way too salty, unlike ranch, which has that perfect hint of mm, to get your day going, to get your night rolling, to get the party started, because you can dip chips in ranch, all right? You can dip your finger in ranch and just eat it right as it is just mm, mm, is that good. You can coach your entire life in ranch, and there still would not be enough. You need to feel a sense of ranch internally, externally. You can't just sit with a bowl of ranch in front of you. Now I'm talking a bowl of ranch, like a nice little... Put your hands together in the shape of a cup. Yeah, like that much ranch. That's all you need to get your day. Because it can, it can be inside you, and in that moment, it will be around you. You don't need a lot for it to fill your day, but you have to have it fill your day either way. Now what brought this on, I was just going, as I do, going to the kitchen, to get myself a little snack at midnight, of course, because I am a very healthy person. I manage my eating habits well. I don't have a broken sleep schedule, of course, which is why I'm recording this at around midnight 30. And I went to go get this, this just normal chicken buffalo wrap. And I thought, huh, what would go good with this? Oh, I know, ranch. Immediately flew into my head. I don't know where it came from, but it came. And so, I came into my room. And at that moment, I knew that this was destiny. This video right here that you're listening to, destiny. Does ranch have a big impact on your life as it does to my life? If not, I think you should reconsider your life choices. If you're married to someone who doesn't like ranch, fuck them. I mean, if you're married to them, you're probably doing that already. But what I really mean is get rid of them. You don't need them in your life. Ranch fills that hole in your mouth that someone else is filling. They don't need to fill it. Ranch needs to be the only liquid inside of you. Ranch needs to be the one, the only, the purest, the most delicious, scrumptious source of life in your life. And if you think you don't have the same love for ranch that some people have, like some people, they may go overboard and put anything, that's okay. You don't have to put it on everything. You can put it on a little something. You could take a dribble snibble of the ranch and just drip it on your buffalo wings whenever you're eating them. It doesn't need to be a lot. As long as that part of ranch just fills you up inside, 
That's all that matters. As long as you're letting it be your complete source of joy, your life will be fine. Ranch will never go extinct. Ranch will never die. Now you may be thinking, but if the company's closed down, Ranch will... No. What you don't know is Ranch powers the companies. The companies don't make the Ranch. That's your whole problem. Your philosophy's off. You need to look through the perspective. You need to put those Ranch goggles on, as they say, and look through life in a Ranch lens. Then you'll have a true perspective of life. You'll know, you'll grasp the true meaning of life. And you'll never do that unless you just take a shot at it. If you've never had ranch, I invite you right now to go to the store and grab some Hidden Valley's great, or you could join me and get some of that mm -mm -mm good yogurt ranch. But no matter what you do, just know ranch will always accept you and love you for who you are. And we... Lovers of Ranch will always love and accept you, lovers of Ranch, for who you are. Because what unites us isn't what our hobbies are, it isn't what our life is, it isn't who we are as a person. What unites us is the ranch that we consume together. That is all.